The federal government of Nigeria has disclosed its plans to ratify the protocol to eliminate illicit tobacco trade in the country. The Minister of Health, Isaac Adewale, who spoke to newsmen at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting, says this is part of efforts aimed at maximizing the negative effect of tobacco consumption in the country. State House correspondent Ayoba Mikwashe has more details. The federal government of Nigeria has ratified the protocol that will control illicit trade in tobacco in Nigeria. This, according to the Minister of Health, Isaac Adewale, said this is to ensure the tracking of tobacco marketing and protect the lives of Nigerians. We have taken the step further by ratifying the protocol that will control illegal, illicit trade in tobacco. The beauty of this is that we, are, we now have in place, once it is ratified and signed, uh, we will now be able to control smuggling, we will be able to track tobacco marketing, and we will be able to raise taxes and minimize the, the, the adverse effect of tobacco directly and indirectly on our population. Uh, it's an important step forward. So far, 34 countries have ratified the protocol. So with Nigeria now joining the, the list, that will be 35. The Minister of Budget and Economic Planning presented the latest National Bureau of Statistics result on the nation's first quarter gross domestic product to the Council. The Council believes that the government is on track towards achieving its economic goal for the end of the year's GDP target of 3.0% growth. The Minister said the Council was specifically excited to see positive trends in the economic indices. The GDP numbers for the first quarter of 2018, as you all know, it showed a GDP growth rate of 1.95% with both the oil as well as the non-oil sectors continuing to grow. Council was most encouraged by these results, particularly because the first quarter is usually the weakest quarter. So that is, the first quarter is the weakest, so you expect other quarters to do much better. We therefore believe that with this first quarter at 1.95%, that we are on track to achieve the 3.5% GDP growth rate, which is our target for this year. The Minister of Interior, Abdurrahman Dambaso, also briefed that a memo was presented and approved on behalf of Immigration Service for the construction of the technology building to be managed by the Nigerian immigration officers in the interest of national security at the worth of 592 million naira. We realized when we came in that um, we had uh, a couple of databases which were being uh, handled by um, service providers uh, where that were engaged in a kind of PPP arrangement. And uh, those, the data involved that of uh, passport issuance, visa issuance and uh, SEPA cards, uh, popularly known as green cards for as resident permits. Uh, so we are bringing all that together uh, in the interest of national security under the control of Nigerian Immigration Service. Minister of Transportation Rotimi Amechi also got approval for the procurement and installation of 64 tonne capacity of mobile crane which will help in cargo movement for the cost of 3.5 million heroes. From the presidential villa Abuja, Ayobami Kwashe, reporting for Court TV News.